all of the boxes. All of the boxes. You know, there's something about getting clothes in the mail that just makes me happy. <laughs> I think it's because I really don't like changing rooms. Like most changing rooms are just so awkward. There's like no real great place to sit unless they're nice enough to have a bench. You know, even if they do have a bench, it's probably got like nine people's clothes from previous try-ons on the bench. And it's just annoying. Like going out and not knowing if you have they have your size and they have to go out and you get, you know, you're in your socks in the middle. Anyway, I don't like clothes shopping. Clothing subscriptions are just a way for me to have somebody do the work for me. I love working. You know this. I will work so hard on researching and understanding and learning and all of that, but but shopping for clothes? No, thank you. I want someone to do that for me, and that's why I subscribe to both Wannable and Stitch Fix. There is a stylist that picks out clothes for me, sends them to me. What I like, I keep. What I don't like, I send back. And if you are curious about these kinds of clothing subscriptions and what kinds of things they send, uh, I would love for you to stick around, because I'm going to show you what I got, and we're going to decide what which one was better this season, Wantable or Stitch Fix? So hang tight. We're getting into it right now. So let us start with the Stitch Fix, which is the one that I've been subscribed to longer. I really enjoy Stitch Fix. I have had the same stylist, her name is Ashley, for I want to say over, well over a year. Ashley's been styling me and she knows I have a YouTube channel and she writes me cute little notes and they really create a parasocial relationship. Ashley's my best friend. Speaking of that, this was something Ashley picked out for me for summer of 2023, and I freaking love it. It is so adorable. So the way these subscriptions work is I give Ashley 20 bucks. Ashley picks out my stuff for me, and if I don't buy anything, then they keep my $20 styling fee. If I do keep something, then that $20 goes toward the clothing that I buy. And one thing I love about Stitch Fix is that they send you a preview of the things they're thinking about sending you, and you can either say yes or no to like 10 things, and they'll send you like five or six of them. Inside, you get a little envelope that has all of the prices and the little note from your stylist. And it looks like I got five items in this season's Stitch Fix, so let's see what I got. I'm gonna show you what I got in both boxes, and then I'm gonna try everything on, and then we'll do a full verdict. So Ashley knows how much I love flannel shirts. So I have a like pinkish maroonish one that they sent me last season and I love it. So she sent me a blue one. And I have to say this is really cute. I can't wait to try it on. It is kind of thin. It's not what I remember flannel shirts being back in the 90s. Like it's definitely a thinner version of it, but it has it has a little bit of that 90s feel to it. I think this is going to be very cute on, especially with a little tank underneath it. We'll try it on. Next up is a shirt that I wasn't sure about. I'm not sure if this is going to look like an old lady shirt or not. I am curious to try it on and see. It's something about the pattern and the cuts but you need to help me because I'm not great at this. <laughs> there are strengths, everybody has their strengths. You know, we talk about this. I am good at puzzles and research and figuring things out. I am not good at fashion on my own, so I do need your help. Next, they sent a dress with a similar kind of floral pattern. I do have a dress kind of like this, but it is different. I like that it's got like a cinched waist here and I like the big poofy sleeves. So we will see how that goes. I am opening myself up as of the spring season to more dresses. I think we talked about that in the spring unboxing. Now this one I am not so sure about because I haven't worn a freaking jean skirt since, oh my gosh, I don't even know, probably the seventh grade. <laughs> I think was the last time I wore a jean skirt. It has been a long time and I don't really know what to do with this. So I'm going to need help once again. Now I do already have a pair of black booties and just looking at these, I can tell these are gonna get messed up really quickly. These just look like they're gonna get scuffed in about two seconds. I can already tell you I am not keeping these shoes because they will look like this for literally an hour. And then they will look like complete and total garbage with little like picks on them and everything. Mm -mm. Nope. Nope, these are probably gonna be a no. I'll try them on anyway, just to give Ashley feedback, but those are definitely gonna be a no. It's too bad because they are cute. They have a little zipper on the side here, and then it's got some extra stretch room in case they don't fit perfectly, which I really, really like that so that they can fit 
so that they can fit more people. So very quickly, let's talk about price. All right, so the shoes that I just showed you, those are $59.99, so 60 bucks. The jean skirt is $58. The maroon shirt is $44. And then the flannel is $68 for a flannel? Are you kidding me? Where are the days when I used to steal flannels from my boyfriends? $68 for a flannel. <gasps> I better love it. I better really love it. I do think, let me just be 100% with you, I do think that, that they really mark up their prices. Like you could probably, if you were more patient, if you enjoyed shopping, if you want to shop around, you could probably find these for half price at some, you know, retailers. Like if you, especially if you go to places like Marshalls or Nordstrom Rack or places like that, you're gonna be able to find similar items for so much cheaper. But there are certain things, <laughs> there are certain things that I don't mind spending a little bit more on to save me time and energy and stress. You know, I think that, you know, people make fun of me sometimes for doing these because of that price thing, but it's like, it's it's one of those things where I think everybody has to choose where they want their money to go. And sometimes you spend a little more on something for something else. And I feel like I spend a little more on my clothes, even if it may not be 100% worth it, because it's a mental peace thing. It's a, it's a, I don't have to worry about this anymore. I don't have to take the time. If you think about time being money, the time it takes me to go to the mall and find things that I like, and I might not even find things that I like. For me, I don't mind paying a little bit more for something to save that for me personally. I know that's not everybody. That's just, that's just me though. So, wants of all. Being you is always in style. See, this is something that they, they create the parasocial relationship through the box. <laughs> Where Stitch Fix creates it through my stylist. Look, it even says styled for Jennifer here, which is so, so sweet. I believe the styling fee is also $20 for Wannable. And then as soon as you rip open the paper, you get a little pamphlet and it has, again, all of the prices. And it looks like they have sent me seven things in my Wantable. And Megan is my stylist this time. Oh, another thing I wanted to mention is they, in both services give you an envelope where you put your returns in and this does go USPS. So I just put it out at my mailbox and my mailman takes it, which is fabulous. So first thing, I have not cheated on this one. So I don't know what this is. It says Chloe Huggies in gold and it says $52. What is a Chloe Huggy? Oh no, we're all, we're gonna find out together. Take care, our designs are 18 karat gold plated and 925 sterling silver. And it tells you how to take care of it. There's a little, little thing here that I don't wanna rip just in case I don't like them. And it's teeny tiny little gold hoops. I do have quite a few pairs of gold earrings. Um, I don't have very much silver, which I really wanna restock on my silver, so I wish that these were silver. But they are cute, and they do have some weight to them. They feel good. They're very cute. Let me hold them up for you so you can see them a little bit closer. I need to just go get go up to like the icing or something and get some cheap jewelry because ink on camera, nobody can tell the difference. At least I can't. <laughs> I say nobody can tell the difference because I can't tell the difference. I bet you can tell the difference. Tell me if you can tell the difference between cheap jewelry and good jewelry on camera. I don't know if that's a thing. That's why I'm asking. So I don't know if I'm going to keep those um, just because I think that's a really high price tag, $52 for something that I'm kind of not super excited about. Whatever this is, it's neon pink. Oh my goodness. I don't normally wear neon pink, but this is definitely one of my colors. I am a, what am I? What, what's the color theory thing? What am I? I'm a, a cool winter, I think. So this is like, it's not matching this makeup at all. I think it's got a little bit of a neck on it and it's a little tank top. I don't know about this. I've never worn anything like this. What's the price on this baby? It's $58, so I better love this. Ooh, that is bright. Next up, we have from Thread and Supply, a gray tank top, and it looks super comfy and cozy. It feels really good. I love lounging and stuff like this. Occasionally, I'll wear something like this in live chat. This is $46, but it, it does feel heavy. Let me give it credit where credit is due. It does have some weight to it. It feels good, but I have a feeling it's just gonna kinda Hang on me. It's not gonna be super flattering, so we will see. Okay, I do love a good army print. This is so soft. Oh my gosh. I touched it and I went, oh, 
It feels so good. This is the Culver City hoodie in black and gray camo. It is $74, but it's so soft. But it's, a, you have to remember, this is the only clothing shopping I do. Like I do, I go clothing shopping four times a year. <laughs> and this is it, this is it for this season. But this is so soft, oh my gosh. It feels so good. I'm putting my makeup face on it. I probably shouldn't do that, but oh, okay. All right, maybe. Oh, this is really soft too. This is the pullover rib detail sweater in Heather and Heather Fern. It is $59. See, this looks like something that could be $59. Like I can kind of see this if you go into like American Eagle or something, you're gonna pay $59 for something like this. I don't know about that gray hoodie though. That looks like a Target special. It just doesn't feel like a Target special, but it looks like one. But that feel really does make a difference though. It really does. So yeah, so we will try this on and see how it feels. And you know what's funny? is it says that I requested those things in August. I requested this and I requested the zip up hoodie. I probably didn't look at the price. <laughs> That's probably why I, I requested it. All of these stylists know how much I love my plaid. This feels, it feels heavy, it feels good. This is the Lewis shirt in forest green by Thread and Supply. It is $66. See, this feels like $66 to me. It is so heavy. Like this compared to, this, like, are these the same price? Yeah, okay, this is, this is $2 more expensive than this. This is super heavy and this is super like flimsy and light. So I do love my, I do love my, my plaid though. I do, I love it. And then finally, I have a pair of jeans and I really don't need jeans. I like really super don't need jeans. I have so many pairs of jeans and these are probably gonna go back even if they fit, but I will try them on. These are the Olivia High Rise Skinny in Athens 27. They're $94. They are definitely going back unless I am so in love with these that I cannot part with them. They are going back because I really don't need jeans right now. So comparing prices total as a box with Stitch Fix, the Stylist Pick subtotal is about $288. And then the buy all discount of 25% off knocks off $72, which brings it to $215.99, $216. With Wantable, we have a merchandise total of $449. Oh my gosh. The Keep 5 discount is $89.80. So this order subtotal for this is $359.20 if I keep everything. I already know I'm not keeping everything because I don't think these jeans... I don't think these jeans are gonna make the cut just because I already have plenty of jeans and these are $94. <laughs> I know that's how much jeans cost. I know that, I, I'm aware of that, but that's a lot, that's a lot, especially when I don't need them. So with that being said, let me try this stuff on. So my microphone is over here. So maybe the sound might be a little bit different, just letting you know. Okay, so this, I can't say I don't like it. I do, I like it. I think it's really cute. It's so cute. And this, this I really like. It's got this detailing here where you can snap that up. You can unroll it and put it down regular or you can snap this up and have it hold there, which I really, really like. I do like it a lot and it's so cute. It's so fall. I'm gonna have trouble saying no to this one. I'm gonna have trouble saying no. Okay, I don't know if I'm wearing this correctly or not. Is it, it does it? I don't think this is right. <laughs> I don't think this looks right. Like I feel like, I don't feel like I could pull off the skirt at all. Like I maybe with a different top. What if I tuck it in and do that little like poof thing that some people do, like something like that. Is that cuter? I need help with this one because this to me says absolutely not, but maybe I'm missing something. I don't know, maybe maybe I should put the jeans back on with the shirt. I think the skirt's gonna be no just because I don't understand it. Like, I don't know how to wear it. I think the skirt's gonna be a no. Let me put the jeans back on real quick. So I don't think, I don't know about this color of jean with this, I don't know. I guess it kind of looks cute. It looks better with the jeans, I think. What do you think? I need I need your help with this one. Do I look like a grandma? Is this a grandma shirt? Because I need to know. <laughs> 
because I, I legit don't know. One thing I do want to mention about this skirt, if you like it, is that it does have an elastic waist, so it was really easy to get on and off. And also, like, I really appreciate things that don't have a ton of, like, effort to take it off because sometimes you got to pee right and you don't want to mess with anything and this is like perfect for that right you can like lift it up you can pull it down either way it's going to be easy like no matter what you got to do so yeah i mean i think maybe like this with like maybe a bodysuit or something i don't know help help i need help so last thing we're going to try on is the dress i'll be right back okay see that's cute i kind of like that i think that's adorable that's totes adorbs I like this. Here's the back. Yes. We pull, go back a little bit. There's this one person that comments sometimes that you can't even see the whole outfit. So here, for that person that wants to see the whole thing, there you are. There's the whole thing. <laughs> you can't see my feet, I'm sorry. But I think this is really cute. I do think it ages me just a little bit. I think it makes me look my age. It makes me look like I'm in my 40s, but I'm okay with that. I'm embracing my 40s. I've hit the middle of them, so I better embrace it. But yes, I think this is gonna be a keeper. I really like this dress, I think it's cute. I'm gonna try on the shoe, just to try on the shoe, but mm -mm, I don't think this is gonna be a thing. It's very stiff. I mean, they fit me. They definitely don't go with this dress, I'll tell you that. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. It's the material for me, honestly. Like, they fit me really nicely, though. They're maybe a little bit big. I ordered an eight instead of a seven and a half this time because I'm noticing as I get older, I think my feet are getting bigger. Is that a thing? Do your feet get bigger as you get older? Because I feel like I'm more of an eight than a seven and a half all of a sudden. It's real weird. So I feel like I've got a good idea for Stitch Fix. Let's try on Wannable. Y'all, this shirt is so comfy. It's so comfy. It's cute. I like that it's a little bit, what do you call this? What kind of neckline is that? Like a bow neck or something? I forget what it's called. But a cow, not a cow neck. I don't know. It's some kind of neck. But I like it. It's cute. There's the back. And the jeans. Okay, so let me, let's talk about the jeans real quick. All right. Let's be real. So I've heard that tight jeans like this are out of style, that you're supposed to wear like baggier jeans. Is that a thing? Because these are like not that. And also they're a little tight on my belly, if we're gonna be honest here. They feel a little constricting, let's just say that. But I feel like they fit my butt really nice. That's a problem that I've had forever is that I don't have a butt and I hate belts. So my jeans are always like sagging down to here. And I feel like these are gonna end up doing the same thing and that I would have to like constantly do this to keep them up on my butt. And also they're very tight on the leg, which I think is not as fashionable as it used to be. So the jeans are definitely gonna be a no, but I think that the sweater is gonna be a yes. It's perfect for fall. It's exactly what I love to wear. Like it just, it feels so good. I think I'm gonna try on the gray tank next. Okay, so this I don't like. I, I would never wear this on its own. Um, let me show you the back. This this just looks super frumpy to me. Like I don't like the cut of it. I don't think it's flattering. Like, it's just it's just not cute. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on the hoodie over top of it because you know I need something to go underneath and I think it's gonna match. And what's really sad about this is that I was really hoping that this would work because uh, what was it, last week I was making marshmallows like I do because I have a marshmallow company and I was making mint chocolate chip and I got these new bowls, these little silicone bowls and I did, forgot how light it was because I usually use glass bowls and I sprayed the freaking green food coloring all over my gray tank top that I really liked and I'm gonna try to get it out but I just haven't had time to mess with it. So I was hoping this would might replace that in case I can't but the shirt is definitely not gonna replace that. But, oh my gosh, is this hoodie comfortable. <gasps> it's so comfy. It's a little bit short, if I'm gonna be 100%. I feel like maybe, I, maybe they might let me sit, well, it might be the shirt underneath too, making it feel like it's short. Let me, let me tuck this shirt in. Ooh. Kind of tuck that, right? And then, you can see how this looks without anything hanging out. It's cute. Do you think it's too short though? Do you think I should ask for a bigger size? But the arms look good. The arms are good. Let me back it up. Back it up, Jen. Boop, boop. I think maybe I should ask for one size bigger on this. 
and keep it because even though it's like stupid expensive, it's so soft. Dude, it's so soft. It feels really good. I really like it. I really like it a lot. We're gonna take it off and I'm gonna try on the other flannel thing and we'll see how that goes. And then we have the pink shirt left that I'm terrified of. And also, do people wear neon pink in the fall? Is that a thing? Or is that like a summer shirt that they've repurposed into the fall, like hoping people will still get it? I don't know. But see how like this isn't cute? These jeans are not good. Yeah, I don't love it as much as I thought I would. Maybe it's the gray tank under it. I wanted to love this. I really thought that I would. But there's something about it that isn't quite right. I think that it's how square and, you know what it is? I know exactly what it is. This looks too organized. Like I feel like wallpaper, like old wallpaper. It's too perfect. Like flannel shirts are supposed to look kind of messy. You know, like they're supposed to be kind of all over the place. It's too organized. It's supposed to be casual. You know what I'm saying? Like something's weird. I don't, mm, I don't like it as much as I thought. I'm super bummed because I was really all about this until I tried it on. Oh, well, all right, we got one more shirt left, but I gotta go off there because it's this one. We'll see. I do not have high hopes though. Do not have high hopes. I think this is gonna be a no. I haven't seen it yet, but I think no. It's cute on somebody else. <laughs> But some, I, don't, I don't really like necks like this a whole lot. I feel like it just looks a little, I don't know. I think this will be cute. Like I said, I think it's going to be cute on somebody else. Here's the back. I just, I feel like it just kind of hangs on me. It's not flattering. I think with jeans that actually fit me, maybe it'll look cuter. But, because this one, I don't think it fits me great. But, yeah, this is going to be a no. No, nah, not my style at all. So that's the last thing. I'm gonna clean up this mess and we'll be back for final thoughts. So lately I've been wearing in the outro of my Stitch Fix videos, the shirt that I feel like I love the most and it's definitely this one from Wantable. So speaking of Wantable, since I chose their shirt, uh, what I'm going to do is this is the only thing I'm keeping. I am going to try to return this for one size bigger. This is a two to four, which is really small. I'm definitely closer to a four to six rather than a two to four. So I definitely need a size bigger in this. I'm gonna see if I can exchange it. The jeans ended up being a no regardless, just because I feel like they're not quite as in fashion as they used to be. The pink shirt is definitely a no. The tank top is definitely a no. The flannel shirt is definitely a no. And another thing I wanna mention about this is it's itchy. It's definitely not comfortable. There's some, there's some material in here that was irritating my skin. So this is definitely a no. And the earrings are definitely a no. So um, I think that if for some reason I can't, because sometimes these services, they they don't let you exchange. So if I can't change, exchange the hoodie for a bigger size, I might just keep it anyway because I do really, really like it. For a stitch fix, I am keeping the flannel shirt. I really like that. I am also definitely keeping the dress. I am definitely not keeping the shoes that are going to get ruined very quickly and the skirt because I don't know how to work with this thing. I don't have anything that, that I know that matches this. This is confusing to me. It's not... It's not where I'm going right now, but I do need your help on this shirt and whether you think I should keep the maroon flowered shirt. Uh, Stitch Fix is much more forgiving with the timeline than Wantable. Wantable, they really want you to send it back in that first week. Stitch Fix will give you like a week and a half to two weeks. So I have a little time to decide on the shirt. So if you wouldn't mind letting me know what you think down in the comment section down below. Do you think I made good choices? What do you think of these services? Do you think that they styled me well? Do you like the clothes, don't like the clothes, uh, would love to know your thoughts down in the comment section down below. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. I know this video is very different from the other content that I put out, so I always appreciate the views on this one because I do really like making it and I'm gonna keep making it for the, the niche audience that enjoys them because I enjoy them so much and I'm glad that you enjoy them too. So if you did enjoy it, please hit the thumbs up button. It really does help me out so much. And if you would like to hang out just a little bit longer, YouTube should be recommending a couple videos over here for you to watch, including my last Stitch Fix versus Wantable video. I'm gonna put that there. YouTube's gonna pick the top one based on your viewing history, but if you do need to go because you got stuff to do, it is no problem at all. Thank you for hanging out as long as you did, and I'd love to you, and I will see you in a video very, very soon. Bye!